Salutations, good people. Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Charles. I'm back at you with another Sketchbook Pro sketch. First, shout out to Sketchbook Pro for uh, making this so simple. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm taking this Photoshop class, and it ain't no joke, man. Photoshop is difficult. Yo, shout out to David, my professor. David, I don't know if you ever going to watch this, but yeah, I'm going to send you a link in the email. Shout out to David. I actually started this sketch in David's class. So, David, you know what I'm saying? If you walk past me, you like, man, what is this? Why is this dude never paying attention? I'm sorry. It's hard for me to focus, bro. I really, I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. But um, in Photoshop class, uh, we actually move really slow. You feel me? Like, this is our third week, and we still learning how to save stuff and, you know, format size and, X, you know, the basics, right? And I just, yo, today was so draining, G, to try to stay up while we learned how to save stuff. It was killing me. So, um, I, I started this sketch. Uh, I ended up looking at an elephant. I don't know why. Out of every animal on the earth, I picked the elephant. But, uh, yeah, I started off looking at this elephant, and then I was like, you know, I'm going to do a, a big body. So, I started off uh, with a loose sketch, as you can see, sketching a big body. Put the elephant's head on there but um you know as i as i looked at it uh i just know i want to simplify the form i want to make the form more aerodynamic more uh relatable you know maybe even uh, remove some of the parts that made it obviously an elephant so uh, i took away the trunk made it more of like a what's a good word like a snout like a pig snout you know what I'm saying? So it's still a trunk. It's just real short. A little trunk. As you can see by the title, Little Trunk. So, you know, his hero name is Little Trunk. Um, I also went with the little ears uh, to go with his little trunk. So, uh, you know, we still gonna call him Little Trunk. We're not gonna call him Little Ears because that's lame. But uh, he's got little ears. He's got, uh, I actually ended up putting a halo on him because of the shape of the ears. The ears look kind of like wings to your boy. So I was like, you know, let's just put a halo on the homie. You know what I'm saying? Let's get him looking, looking, you know, holy. Yo, he ain't got no, he ain't got no clothes on, but he's still, he's still, he doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? He fighting, fighting the power, you know, fight. He ready to defend. He in a defensive stance, ready to box. You feel me? And something that pop off. You feel me? Yeah. So, I start uh, I start doing a, uh, what I like to call a reductive method, where I start off with uh, loose, you know, I start very loose, if y'all know what that means, loose is just like shapes, forms, things that look like things, but it's not the thing yet, and then you start tightening it up, so you start drawing harder, harsher lines, making uh, minute adjustments where you feel like it's like, alright, this is permanent, I'm gonna put the head here, I'm gonna put the ears here, nose here, wah, 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 wah. so, reductive method is like you know as you're building you're taking away so you'll see me uh drawing lines erasing lines drawing lines erasing lines building up taking down so uh you know to me i feel like that's, that's kind of helps in the process because i'm uh you know thinking it's making me think you know not everything is perfect not everything is gonna be perfect if you don't like something just take it away you know let's let's not beat around the bush here Let's not try to fix something that's broke. It's broke. Take it away. So uh, I build up. I don't like some. I take it away. Try it again. Build it up. Take it away. Try it again. So like with the eyes, for instance, I love the eyes, but the ears, it was getting on my nerves. So bloop, bloop, bloop. Erased it. Put on some little ears. Trunk. Erased it. Put on a little trunk. Uh, you know, pretty basic. Uh, pretty basic approach, I feel. Um, also, I wanted to make sure I, I wanted to try something different. You know, typically I just throw the color on. If you guys didn't check it out, please check it out. Um, I might throw a link off in the corner um, to my Wolf Ninja. You know what I'm saying? Wolf Ninja, very similar. I, I just threw, threw something on there. You know, I was bored. Threw something on there and then, uh, you know, didn't add no shadow, didn't add no color. But for some reason, this one kind of like had me fired up. I was ready to rock. So, um, I started off with actually some etching, some line etching. Um, for those of y'all who, who don't etch or don't cross hatch or hatch or anything like that, uh, give it a try, man. You know, it's a, it's a good way to work on like light uh, and dark, you know, your shadows and balancing uh, images, you know, putting weight, adding weight to your image. You ever wonder like, man, my image looks so flat. Add a level of three dimension on this to your image. And, uh, you know, I really use it heavy in printmaking, like in etching. So, I was like, why not add it to this? You know, see how it looks. So it looked, it looked so, it looked, it looked pretty good. 
so I was like you know what let's not stop there so I added the shadows the actual shadows um by just darkening the pigment I was using for whatever layer and uh hitting it with the uh, erase um the what kind of eraser is this I forgot but it's not it's not like it's not the obviously it's not the regular eraser so it's like a a fade eraser or something I don't know but just to just to keep going with the method I was using the reduction method I'll put on the dark layer and smooth that thing out you feel me so uh you know trying a different approach a more direct approach but uh but yeah man but I, I just had fun with this one man stay loose really helped me uh get my mind off some things man and, and i think that's really why i got caught so caught up in it i was just like really zoning out focusing uh put on my music chill hop hey if y'all don't know chill hop will get you through a nice study session you know what i'm saying you trying to study you trying to zone out or you just trying to like vibe put the weed down put the alcohol down put the drink down Put on Chill Hop, man. Actually, this is brought to you. The, the, the sultry sounds you're listening to now, that's Chill Hop, man. You know what I'm saying? They got you on the free downloads as well. You know, this is not a paid commercial. Check my boys out. But uh, yeah, that's about it. As you're looking at right now, we uh, got the final layers of all the extracurricular stuff like the, the tusk and the nose and the halo. <laughs> Uh, I want the Halo to be a little more jagged, but that's cool. You know, my next little character, I might go a little crazy with that. But, um, you know, I, I try to keep it loose. Keep it loose in the goose, you know, going on Patron. Um, yo, b b b before I dip, man, I really want to get on this topic. I hear everybody uh, dropping their top three rappers, you know what I'm saying? And some other videos I was watching. Everybody top three rappers is really basic, man. Biggie, Tupac, Jay Z. Biggie, Tupac. Bump that, man. I'm gonna be hundred with y'all. Y'all can have your own opinion, but I'm be real. I'm gonna keep it one thousand. Biggie was cool. All right, the audience. Oh, that wasn't for me. You know, this all subjective. You can hate if you want to. Tupac, hella contradictory. One minute he's like, you know, I love your mama. The next minute he's trying to knock all the females down. You know. You know, he, he trying to get around. So, I ain't fooling with that. You dig? Jay-Z, Legends Illuminati. His rhyme schemes is all right. You know what I'm saying? I fool with it. But, you know what I'm saying? I, I fool with real lyricists, G. Not, not that he not a real lyricist. It's just he ain't my speed. So, my top three. I, I challenge y'all. I'm leaving the end of the video with this. You leave your top three rappers that, that has ever put that thing down. My top three rappers is going to have to be first... Andre 3000, that's number one. If you don't know, now you know. He will outrhyme all three of the people I just named. He will outrhyme Jay Z, he will outrhyme Biggie, he will outrhyme Tupac any day of the week. You know what I mean? Outrhyme. Not only am I talking about rhyme scheme, but I'm talking about storytelling. My brother will tell a phenomenal story and he'll hit it with some lyricism. You feel me? All right. My second is going to be Most Deaf. Now, Most Deaf is another storytelling brother who also got the wordplay. You know what I'm saying? So that's my number two. My last, but my my last, but not least. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he. Fire. Dang, I almost I forgot. The beat changing threw me off. Wait, wait, wait. I remember that. Andre. Most Deaf. And, uh, 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 hold on, hold on. What's my boy name? Doom. Oh, man, yeah, Doom. Now, Doom, Doom is like somebody, you you know what I'm saying? His word patterns is different. If you don't know who Doom is, go do your research. You know what I'm saying? They not they not radio bangers, okay? Just just go ahead and get that out the way. They're, he a lyricist. He's dropping lyrical, you know what I'm saying, situations on you. Now, you you pick your three, okay? Don't gonna be coming at me in the comment section. But uh, hey, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Love you guys, man. Please like, share, subscribe, and holler at me when you can. Peace.